More specifically, this homage to Marguerite Bourgeois was officially opened June 29, 1988. The work was created by sculptor Jules Lassalle through a commission established in January of that same year in partnership with the City of Montreal. The monument itself uses three materials, bronze, concrete, and granite. The bronze parts were cast using the lost wax casting process, also known as cire perdue, which has a history of approximately 6,500 years. In modern terms, this method is often referred to as investment casting. More about the fountain work itself. The basin is clearly concrete, though many of the supporting structures to the bronze figures is granite. Having studied some geology in what seems like a different lifetime, I usually can identify different types of rock by their look, and when I saw this work, there was no doubt in my mind that it was granite. This type of stone appears in many colors, most commonly in pink, white, and variations of black and gray. Having been to far too many cemeteries in my nearly 60 years around the sun, I recognize this material without a problem. There are four spigots that do not create a great deal ahead, though they are positioned in a manner that creates direction. While I have no idea what LaSalle had in mind with his creation, it seems to me that he was trying to portray her leadership in the new world from her work she did as a leading community figure. Maybe I'm just reading too much into it, though she had worked extensively with the poor while still in France. It is of my opinion that this takes a great deal of integrity, regardless of the historical period. In addition to the water elements, there are seven different submerged lighting elements. It will require a separate visit during the dark hours of the day to see how these function. Until then, enjoy the subsequent episode.